We're joined again from Beijing by Mr. Xu Qian Dua. He's a political analyst at China Radio International. Thanks for joining us again. The latest missile launch by the DPRK. Hi, uh, China's approach to this, as you know, China and Russia, it, Russia issued this joint statement trying to pressure Pyongyang. How will this statement be received? Well, I think, you know, Pim, the, the attitudes from uh, Russia and China is quite clear uh, to Pyongyang. Uh, remember the key, uh, you know, the key issue in terms of this nuclear crisis uh, on the Korean Peninsula is really between North Korea and South Korea, between North Korea and the United States. Uh, it's really about the fear, not only on the U.S. side, you know, sometimes the ICBM, the missile test, will enable the North Korean side to uh, hit directly the U.S. continent uh, with a warhead, nuclear warheads. That's the fear. But also on the North Korean side, their top concern is really about the survival of the leadership of the government. Uh, there's a fear of like whether the U.S. will conduct the regime change activities, whether the U.S. Uh, and South Korea will launch a military attack against North Korea. You know, they basically, uh, nobody is there to protect them from being attacked by outside forces. So from their point of view, the only protector for them or preserver of the government is really a nuclear warheads. So that's why they are determined to pursue their nuclear technology. It seems like, you know, no sanctions will stop them, at least so far. You know, all the sanctions uh, haven't worked out as desired. And do you expect them to ease their stance at all regarding the THAAD missile system in South Korea in light of this latest launch? Well, uh, you know, in terms of the THAAD uh, deployment uh, issue, you know, like, uh, first of all, like, uh, North Korea will not stop or suspend its nuclear activity because of the third deployment or other military equipment. And also, the third deployment, you know, its ability to protect South Korea is also questionable. But the deployment is really about, uh, most importantly, is about uh, this uh, military balance, the balance of power between the big players, between the United States and China and Russia here in this region. You know, previously, there's a more or less uh, a power balance. Now, with the deployment, you are breaking the balance. That's why you would see the opposition from China, from uh, Russia, uh, of, of course, from North Korea. And then you would be uh, probably see uh, diplomatic pressure, diplomatic uh, and also even uh, economic measures or uh, military deployment uh, countermeasures from China and Russia to balance the deployment of that. But here, you know, for North Korea, uh, the, the, the thing is, like, if they are uh, able to produce this uh, multiple warheads in the next couple of years, uh, plus this ICBM, the missile technology here, that would be uh, a real, real threat to the U.S. I'm not sure the U.S. side will uh, tolerate this uh, move. That's why we will see, you know, what will happen in the U.N. Security uh, Council, uh, whether there will be uh, likely there will be new resolution, more sanctions against North Korea. But also, as I said, said earlier, you know, any sanction, it will take time for them to produce the result. The Chinese side has done uh, mostly what they can to uh, impose sanctions uh, to pressure North Korean side. But I'm, I, I'm not sure, uh, you know, whatever pressure from Beijing, North Korea uh, will give up on their development of nuclear weapons here. Xu Chen Dua, thank you so much live from Beijing. The